This video will help you sketch a single state centrifugal pump. The final sketch will look as shown here. First we start by drawing the center line. Then we proceed in drawing the base of the impeller. Then the sides. The upper outline, which includes a shoulder for the top wearings. We draw the hub, the pump shaft, and flange. Then we draw the bearing at the base of the pump shaft. Then the gland packing. Then the gland itself. We proceed to draw the lower portion of the pump shaft and securing knot. The internal surfaces are drawn. And the veins represented by diagonal lines. The bottom wearings and the top wearings are drawn at the right hand side of the impeller. The internal surface of the pump casing is drawn from the top wearing to the bottom wearing. The pump casing is drawn from the gland packing to the volute casing. The top wearings and bottom wearings are drawn at the left hand side of the impeller. From the bottom wearing the volute casing is drawn to join the inlet section. Then the outlet section is drawn and the rest of the pump casing up to the gland packing. Now the arrows are drawn to show the flow of the liquid. Fluid enters through the eye of the rotating impeller. The fluid is accelerated by centrifugal force imparted by the veins to the impeller periphery. It now enters the discharge volute casing, where the kinetic energy is converted into pressure energy. Be sure to label all the parts of the sketch and color the wearings as shown.
And this is how you sketch a single stage centrifugal pump.